everyone. This week on the HGTV Handmade Recap Video, I'm going to start off with a really fun, easy DIY that is perfect for spring. Take a look. It is finally spring, which means it is finally time to head outside into the sun, but you can't forget the best springtime accessory of them all sunglasses. To make these springtime sunglasses, gather a pair or two of plain sunglasses. Mine were all free giveaways from various conventions. And then grab some E6000 or a similar type of glue. And grab some rhinestones and flowers and anything you want to decorate your sunglasses with. For springtime, I went with a lot of flowers and gold and colorful rhinestones, but you can use anything that you want. For my first pair of sunglasses, I'm decorating the corners with these flowers that I cut off of a bracelet from Forever 21. Just open up your E6000, making sure that your room is very well ventilated, and then just glue your decorations to the corners of your sunglasses. I actually had to go back and apply more glue than what I filmed here, so be generous with your amount of glue, and make sure that you put glue on every surface that's going to be touching. Press your decorations into place, and then put it aside for a few minutes so that it can set before you continue to glue on every decoration in the world. Just grab some washi tape and stick it on. If you can't get the sunglasses to rest straight and your decorations keep sliding around, just grab some wide straws or other small objects to help your sunglasses rest horizontally. on these rhinestone flowers had a bit of a reaction to the glue, so if you're using flowers like this, you might get a similar texture, but you can't really see it from far away, so I think it still looks fine. Once you're done gluing your sunglasses, make sure to go wash your hands really well if you got E6000 all over them like I did, because it's really not good for your skin. Then let the glasses dry overnight, and then that's it. sunglasses that would look great at the beach or at a picnic or even just sitting in your living room waiting for the last bits of snow to melt outside. Let me know in the comments which pair you liked the best, the gold spikes, the black rhinestones, or the pink hearts. And as always, be sure to send me pictures if you decide to make a pair as well. So I don't actually have contacts, which means I can't actually wear these sunglasses myself, but maybe some of my friends will like them. I just love how they came out. They're so cute. But now, on to the recap. Mondays are always terrible, but they get a little bit brighter with a new video from Meg. This week she showed us how to make terrariums for those of us who do not have a green thumb. Create the scene you want, and voila! You've made a tiny little world in whatever genre you love the most. On Tuesday, Marianne showed us how to make really cute pom-pom letters for a party or just for decoration anywhere in your house. All right, we've given everything a couple of hours to dry and mine is all set and ready to go on a bookshelf. And Cami, I think we just need to get yours ready to be hung up. On Wednesday, Julia took us all back to summer camp and showed us how to make a chevron friendship bracelet. The button fits into the loop that you made in the beginning so that you can easily take the bracelet on and off instead of having to tie it on and cut it off. And that's all there is to it. Thursday is Throwback Thursday, and this week Marianne brought us back to another episode of Crafters Coast to Coast, where we learned how to recycle old towels into a brand new bath mat. So now I've come to the end of my rug, the end of my rope, so to speak, and I'm going to sew the ends together. When you're finished, voila, a cozy 
bathroom rug. And on Friday, Ann showed us how to make an organizational box for all of our power cords. Once you get the wire through, use hot glue to instantly cover the cut hole. So that was the week on HGTV Handmade. We really hope that all of you guys are loving all of the videos, but be sure to leave a comment letting us know if you have any requests for future craft projects that you want to see us do. We have some really cool stuff in the works coming up, so make sure to hit subscribe, leave us a comment, and don't forget to keep on crafting. Bye.